So I just recorded and released this video on how to use the new custom prompts functionality for AI Builder and how you can use those prompts inside of Power Apps and Power Automate. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I released that, my good friend Daniel Laskowitz let me know that there's actually a new approval action inside of Power Automate specifically for approving text generated with GPT. I figured why not I record a special video just on how to use that new approval action for approving your GPT generated text. So let's see how it works. If you haven't watched my video on custom prompts, I definitely encourage you to check it out. It's a cool new feature and this video walks you through how it all works. Now in that video, I show you how to use these custom prompts inside of Power Automate. And it's just a matter of adding the create text with GPT using a prompt action and pointing it to your custom prompt. When you try to save your flow when you're using this action or any action that creates text with GPT, it's going to ask you to put in an approval process so that you can run that by a human to make sure that the text which is generated isn't malicious or harmful or just simply incorrect or wrong. Now what I showed in that video is the classic start and wait for an approval action. There's nothing wrong with doing it this way and it will work and it will show the text, but there's a new approval action specifically for approving generated text with GPT that gives us some additional benefits. So let's remove this old start and wait for approval and we'll add the new one in. Now if we click on the plus button and go to add an action, we'll search for approval again. And here's our approvals connector. We'll expand that out. We'll click see more. And this is why I missed it when I was doing the initial video. I didn't click that see more. So I wasn't seeing the start and wait for an approval of text. And this new approval action is optimized for approving GPT text. So if we click on that, we'll see that it looks like a traditional start and wait for approval action, but it has a specific input for suggested text. So we'll fill out all the details. We'll say approve AI generated text. And now in the suggested text field, we can use our dynamic content and map it to the suggested text from our GPT action there. And I'll put myself as the approver. And the other fields aren't required, so I'm gonna leave those blank. So that's really all there is for using this new action, but let's see what it actually gives us over the old start and wait for approval. So we'll do a test here and run through the process. I'm actually gonna do our last flow run as the test because I know that worked and I already have all the inputs in there. This particular flow, if you didn't watch the previous video, is taking a resume context and it's taking job description information and it's comparing the two and providing a GPT generated recommendation on if the person is a good hire based off of the job requirements. So it has some inputs in this particular flow where I'm pasting in the resume and the job requirements. So if we test this, we'll see what this new approval action gives us. It looks like it's generated the text there. So I'm going to go over to a new tab and look at my approvals history. So here's our new approval. If I click on that, this is the main benefit that we get from using this particular approval action. You'll notice that the text that shows is editable. So if we compare this, I'm gonna close out of this to an old one. The text that we get in the other action is just in a label. So we're not able to edit that information. With the new one, this is an editable box. So if I see a change that I wanna to make to this generated text, I can make this and modify the text directly here in the approval. Maybe I simply wanna put an additional point right at the top that this is a good candidate. I'll say four out of five recommend. So now I can make that modification before accepting and go down to my response. Now I can approve it with those changes made. Put in some additional comments here. Approved, made one change. And now that change can be incorporated in the rest of my workflow logic. And now if we go back to our flow run history, we can see everything ran successfully, but in our outputs of this start and wait for an approval action, we have an output property for accepted text. So we have the original text in there, and then we have a new field for what was approved or accepted with my changes modified. So now I can go, if the rest of the process say was sending an email, I can include the accepted text in there with the changes made. So this is a really valuable action to use if you are using AI Builder and the Create Text with GPT action to generate AI text. So if you are using AI Builder and custom prompts and the create text with GPT action, you definitely want to use this approval action here because it gives you that added benefit of being able to modify in real time in your approval, the outputted text there if you need to. 
So next time that you're creating any AI generated text, use this start and wait for approval of text action to approve and review that text. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.